Did you know the national average for a jail call for 15 minutes is $5.74? I'm Eliza Orleans, a career public defender for the last 13 years, and we have talked about the way that the government profits off of individuals who are incarcerated, but we haven't talked about, and what I'm gonna talk about, how the cost can be even higher for their families. People are often desperately trying to stay in touch with their families, that is their lifeline while they're incarcerated, whether it be pretrial in jail or whether after they're sentenced in prison, and oftentimes they have to call collect or they need money put on their commissary so that they can reach their family members. And these monopolies exist because people are profiting. Companies are profiting off of this. For example, there's a company called Securus that does a lot of this. And they went so far as to fight to end in-person visits in jails in Flint, Michigan, because they had a monopoly on the jail calls from Flint, Michigan. So they wanted people not to be able to visit their family members so that they could make more money off of them uh, being forced to have phone calls as their only lifeline to their family members. We should all be pushing for the passage of bills that would abolish any amount of money. We should want free calls from jails and prisons because that reduces recidivism, that keeps us safe, and enabling people to have that lifeline to their family uh, makes it less likely that they're going to reoffend. We need to abolish these predatory practices.